guys, welcome to this lesson titled Emptiness, describing and informing you or introducing you to one of these core qualities, core expansive qualities of awareness itself. So emptiness, what is emptiness? Emptiness has been used throughout all kinds of traditions, spiritual traditions especially, and what I'm interested in is somehow conveying to you the experience of emptiness rather than having a philosophical view of what it is. So bear with me as I simply explain emptiness from my own experience in many seemingly sometimes random ways so that you can somehow use this in a sense transmission or this message as a way to tap into that experience yourself, simply by listening to my words, simply by listening to me expounding upon the nature of awareness and its quality of emptiness. You can tap into that frequency, you can tap into that realization and make it your own direct experience. You can start glimpsing it and realizing it and becoming convinced of it. So, many of these qualities in awareness are very similar. They have um, they have a very close alignment with each other. So there's like emptiness, there is formlessness, there's spaciousness, but those are simply slightly different angles from which to start recognizing the quality of awareness. Even though you've realized in the previous lesson that awareness is not a state, but it does have innate qualities that can be enjoyed and tapped into and utilized. So let's go with emptiness. Emptiness is the experience of lack of or absence of solidity, you could say. And again, I'm just going to, in a sense, just ramble with this video. I'm just going to explain this in as many ways based on my own direct experience as I can. So emptiness can be experienced as the absence of solidity. Think about that for a second. What does that mean? It means that the solidity that we give to things by means of our definitions, our ideas about objects, our, our beliefs about how reality is structured, how it works, what it's made out of, matter. Most people believe it's made out of matter, which is not true. But we'll see that in Enlightenment 3, inseparability. But for now, realize that emptiness can be experienced as the absence of solidity. So. You may have already experienced this in the previous chapters when you were relaxing your mind, when you were giving away all thoughts. Then suddenly there might be a quality of emptiness to the appearances that you see. You've observed appearances come and go, come and go, appear and disappear. So you have realized that appearances have the ability to simply arise in a sense, or yeah, arise out of thin air, out of emptiness and they endure and they are seemingly present for a while. And then you are no longer experiencing them. They disappear back into emptiness. Now here's the thing, even while appearances are present, they are still existing in and of and as this emptiness. Awareness is essentially empty. It is essentially devoid of, in a sense, substance. Yes, it has the illusory presence energy at its disposal, the divine yet illusory presence energy at its disposal to create and project whatever it needs to, to generate the experiences it wants to experience so that it can be expressing infinity in all the ways that it can think of expressing infinity. However, just because awareness has at its disposal this creative love light presence energy, that does not mean there is actual substance in the universe so much. In other words, even presence energy, when it creates an appearance, when it forms itself into a certain form, essentially speaking, if you would, in a sense, take your consciousness and go microscopic, enter the objects, enter the appearances, you would find nothing but emptiness. You would find nothing but empty, vast intelligence. This can be realized, this can be directly experienced, more so with every time you practice to simply want to experience this, because desire is key 
for whatever you want to realize all you need is the desire to realize it and bam you're right there you're starting to tune into it you're starting to tap into that real reality that realization and you start to in a sense download the vibration or the vibratory state of consciousness that contains that lesson that contains that realization that sees life from that particular point of view so again simply hearing me expound upon the nature of emptiness allow yourself to absorb what i'm sharing and allow yourself to download the experience that my words are coming from and that they are pointing to so imagine in a sense reaching out your hand through appearances that come up appearances come up and your hand represents your consciousness imagine being able to simply grasp through that appearance through the objects with your hand without it ever colliding with each other without molecules seemingly actually being existent this is what experience of emptiness starts to feel like especially when it meets appearances in other words when i'm aware of appearances coming up and they seem solid they no longer seem solid to me but they seem solid from a sort of a logical collective viewpoint uh, perspective so i could tap into that i could see it as solid if i wanted to not really but i could assume that position for a moment so an appearance comes up, it seems solid to our minds. But then when we relax, we can allow our attention to, in a sense, enter through the appearances or tune into the insides of the appearances. And what you'll notice is that, yes, you can start to sense and feel and observe that there's energy, that there's intelligence shaping patterns of energy, patterns of geometry, patterns of light and love and energy. However, beyond even that energy, even inside of that energy, so to speak, there's nothing but spacious emptiness. Form in that sense, or appearances in that sense, don't have any substance. They don't have any basis other than awareness and awareness's presence energy. So an object, let's say a rock, does not actually consist of rock molecules on a certain level we can say that it does and we can talk about that and we can observe that but the deeper you go into the awareness experience into the emptiness experience the more you'll be able to notice and recognize the infinite endless empty intelligence inside of let's say a rock so you can start to see that molecules are nothing but empty shells molecules themselves are nothing but projections of empty space of empty clarity of empty awareness Another way to see this is to consider one of your dreams at night. Aren't dreams quite empty when you think back of them? Doesn't it feel like you could just use that hand, use that consciousness and just grasp through them? Like they're just made out of clouds, made out of space, made out of air. Similarly, in the waking dream, which is this, what we call being awake or being alive, but really it's no different from the perspective of awareness because an experience is an experience. It doesn't matter how solid or in what stage it seems to be in. Experience is experience. Perception is perception to awareness. So your dream at night and your dream during the day from the awareness point of view are equally valid experiences. One is not more real than the other. But again, when you go back to your memory of a dream at night, you can get a sense of how it's all just an empty projection inside of awareness. The things that you perceive are not actual things, so you can know that when you're awake or while you're lucid dreaming, perhaps. But if you're dreaming and you're unconscious of the fact that you're in a dream state, then things seem solid, things seem real, things seem valid, they seem solidified, they seem like they're made out of a real substance, out of matter, perhaps. When you wake up, however, you remember, you recognize, ah, oh, that was all just a dream. Just a dream simply meaning, not meaning that the experience was not relevant and equally valid to any other physical experience. But when we say it was just a dream, what we're really saying is it was just an empty illusion. It did not have any actual substance of its own. It did not consist of any concrete materials. That's what we're saying when we say, ah, oh, it was just a nightmare. It was just a dream. We refer to the empty nature of perceptions. 
why don't we extrapolate that to waking dream life as well? Not many of us do. Some people do. Some people have realized it. Some philosophers um, centuries ago have realized this too, that everything is actually emptiness. And scientists nowadays are also discovering that the smaller they go, the more microscopic they go, the more, in a sense, quantum level they go, they take their observations, the more space just appears to be there, the more emptiness seems to be there, and the less things actually appear to be solid objects. In fact, I think it's almost a common understanding by now that physical reality is really not that physical at all. And I think that many scientists and many physicists would agree with this statement at this timing. So it's time for us to catch up. It's time for us to experience this, not just observe it through a microscope or observe it through other technological means, but to actually experience what it's like to tap into the sense of emptiness. This cannot really, in a sense, be taught because it just has to come naturally and it has to be you that wants to tap into that sense of emptiness. And there's a couple of ways we can go about this most generally speaking. There's many ways, but let's address two ways for now. Maybe more comes up in a bit. One simply being using imagination. So you observe your everyday reality, but you imagine that they're empty. You imagine that the appearances and the objects that occur within your field of awareness are actually nothing but dreamlike appearances. They're nothing but insubstantial, empty energy appearances. You imagine that you could actually reach through them with this consciousness hand of yours, with this sense of yourself. Your sense of yourself can extend itself through the analogy of that hand and it can reach through the object. Imagine your sense of self moving through the object. Imagine, um, imagine your sense of your body almost moving through the other objects but also imagine your sense of consciousness or your sense of I am being able to move through your own body. Your own body also is not solid because it's also made out of empty, illusory projection energy. So one way, as I just explained, is simply to imagine the emptiness inside of objects. And once you've taken an object, let's say a rock, and you've sat with it for a while, and you've imagined that it's completely hollow and empty on the inside, it may have some illusory energetic patterns that keep the structure appearing, that keep the structure of the rock seemingly apparent to consciousness, seemingly defined and unique and present as a rock. But really inside of all those vibrations, inside of all those energetic projections, there is no real solid substance. Matter is nowhere to be found. Imagine a matterless universe or at least a matterless object. Imagine that it's just an empty shell within which there's nothing but emptiness and that actually the even the shell of the rock that makes it appear like it is a rock is itself when you when you would enter that using your consciousness using your imagination you can sense that even that is not structured it's not solid it's actually pervaded by emptiness when you do this you can also extrapolate that through everything and make this sense of emptiness all pervasive rather than just seeing or imagining that the insides of a rock are empty. You can imagine that everything, including the sky, including the sky molecules, including the air that you're breathing, including your body, including the earth, including the already seemingly empty space of the universe, that even all of that is simply one, one blank field of emptiness. Not necessarily blank in terms of there's nothing there, but just a pure potential field of emptiness. Awareness contains only emptiness. And from this emptiness, yes, forms arise, but they're created out of emptiness and they consist only as emptiness, of emptiness. They exist only as emptiness. So use imagination and consciousness to enter different experiences. And as a practice, you can go back to Enlightenment One, the lesson where you enter objects, the lesson where it says the title is Everything Has Presence. So if you go back to that lesson and you study the exercise of uh, tuning into an object and noticing its presence, now you can take that one step further with the awareness level and see that even underneath the presence of that object inside of or and pervading the presence energy of that object, there's actually nothing but emptiness, freedom, awareness. Also, the other way 
is simply to continue to relax all your definitions about a solid reality. So the way to do this is to relax your mind for two to five seconds or however long comes natural to you. And when you relax your thoughts, also relax your tension, your focus, your assumption that physical reality is actually physical as separate objects, as an independent reality from consciousness, meaning that you believe that this physical reality exists outside of awareness, independent on its own resources, on its own foundational substance, which it does not. Relax all those ideas, those assumptions that this is a physical solid reality and relax into the sense of emptiness itself, the sense of free spacious awareness itself. And let that make it obvious to you that all there is is empty awareness, projecting dreamlike illusory images onto its own consciousness, onto its own cognizance, onto its own screen of clarity. Also, awareness itself, in that sense, not just the objects it creates, but awareness itself is empty, meaning we can't find any solid substance to awareness. We can't really find there to be some kind of energy to awareness because awareness would simply be aware of that energy. And if it's aware of the energy that we think is awareness, then how can it be awareness? It cannot be what it observes in that sense. Awareness is always the transcendent free agent. It can never be contained by any state of being, by any type of energy, by any type of matter, by any type of physicality or solidity, by anything whatsoever. It cannot be grasped. It cannot be contained. It will always remain empty, formless, free awareness. So when you relax into this knowledge, into the conviction, into the experience of awareness being free and spacious and empty, emptiness, beingness, emptiness, I-ness, you can start to bring that sense with you into objects, into experiences, and it starts to become evident to you that everything actually consists of emptiness. So have fun with this. Try it out. Try these two different ways out with an object and then extrapolate it to the whole universe, making it seem like awareness emptiness is an all pervasive field and that everything is emptiness and report. Um, write something down, two or three paragraphs on your experience, the things you noticed, what was highlighted, what stood out to you, what beliefs dissolved, what new realizations came into being, how do you feel different than before, etc. Write down those sort of diary-like statements somewhere. And if you want to, you can share it in the study group that goes with this lesson. And uh, most of all, enjoy the sense of emptiness. Enjoy the paradigm shift of going from being a solid being, assuming yourself to be solid in a solid universe, to recognizing that what seems solid is actually pervaded by and consists only of emptiness intelligence. It's fun. You can have some fun, expensive experiences. Enjoy.